Hi everybody, this is Phil Holoka from Complete Captive Management Services. And today launches our next three-part series on the Bordero Report. Today's conversation is, what is the Bordero Report? So at a very high level, it's only for fronted or reinsurance captives. And generally, those are what we call group captives. And group captives are really what's predominantly on the market today. By definition, it's an insurance company to insurance company account reporting. So in other words, the insurance company, the fronting carrier, is an admitted insurance company. The captive, which is a licensed insurance company, there needs to be a flow of information and cash flow accounting from one entity to the other. And then this example will talk that the fronting carrier controls the border row report. So to us, this is the recipe. The border row report expresses the cash inflows, the cash outflows in a way that provides insights to the captive's expenses and their claims costs and etc. So the flow of what the border row report reports is the insured, which is a business or an employer, pays premiums and those premiums are payable to the fronting carrier. This term is called funds withheld because the fronting carrier is holding the funds. In exchange for the premiums paid by the insured, the fronting carrier issues a policy. Now, many employers, many insureds in a group captive believe they pay premiums directly to the captive. This is generally not the case. I would suggest this is a problematic transaction for two reasons. Number one, there's higher risk of, of theft here because if there are hundreds of insureds and they're all paying premium into the captive, if the captive's not owned by the insureds, there could be a theft concern. Legitimate concern. Is it likely? Probably not. The more important problem is there's no exchange of value between the insured and the issuer of the policy. The term exchange is very important within insurance. There's an exchange of value, dollars for policy premiums. There's no real direct insured exchange with the carrier. Therefore, if this is the root of cash flow, you should be thinking, hmm, I wonder what's going on. Worth the questions to ask. So, we're going to consider this the exclusive method. The employer pays premiums to the front, the front issues a policy. Now, the fronting carrier accounts for the cash inflows, they account for the cash outflows. Now, all of this information here will be discussed next week, but for today's session, just understand that the border row report is the accounting that the captive needs to ultimately complete its financial statement because the captive is a corporation that requires financial statement reporting. And like I said last week, the domicile will require the captive to file its financial statements on a quarterly basis. Therefore, the border row report expresses the cash flows from here. The captive has its own expenses. And take notice, there are some overlapping expenses between the captive and the front. Okay, number one. But 
the captive will take the border wear report from the front, add its expenses, and then ultimately create the financial statements for the captive. Now, what's vitally important is the insured and the consultant needs to get their hands on the border wear report because it's a disclosure of a lot of information. The simplest disclosure is if the insured is paying a hundred dollars to the fronting carrier, how much is left over to pay for claims? That's called the expense load. You should understand that before you join a group captive because there are various expense loads across group captives. So we're going to get into this next week, but the ultimate understanding for today is the fronting carrier controls the border row report. Without the border row report, the captive can't create its own financial statements. So until next week, we're going to get a bit more granular. So until then, have a good week.